everyone, it's Elizabeth from Fern Creek Stickers and I am here today to give you an office tour. I have never done a full office tour before and especially since we will be moving in a couple months and I'll have a much bigger space then, I thought it would be interesting to record how we have things set up now. It's morning right now, nobody has gotten here to work yet, Danielle will be here soon, so right now everything is quiet, but usually it is a flurry of activity in here, and sometimes we have three people working in this small space. We also have some tasks that can be done downstairs, and when there are a lot of people here, we usually try to move one person downstairs, but sometimes it gets crowded up here. This is a bedroom in our condo. It is supposed to be the master bedroom, but we actually sleep on the backside because my husband is a light sleeper, and you get some street noise on the front, so this has gotten taken over for stickers. However, it does have the biggest closet, so Brian and I do use this room to store our clothes in, so the dressers actually do have our clothes in them and we keep clothes in the closet, but at this point, pretty much everything else is Fern Creek. So this shelf here has extra supplies on it. This is the newest addition to the organization and there's some room to add more inventory here going forward. So like this laptop is just sitting here so we can put more inventory on this shelf in the future. But um, for now, it's mostly holding extra supplies of things. Over here, we have all of the quarter sheet stickers. So there, any sheet that is this size are kept over here. We have a ton of these extra baskets because we go through a lot of them. We use them for storing stickers, but also for filling orders and going to the post office. They come in pretty handy. Then over here, we've got a bunch of inventory on these shelves. And I've shown this before, but one of the big projects this summer was getting everything individually labeled because before I would have like one tab and everything for kit 43 would be behind that tab. So things are way better organized now. And um, you can see there's also like washi tape and sticker books and sticky notes there. Um, and on the bottom are, it's a little bit of a mess, but that's planners and like my personal stickers and so some of those are planners that I'm actively using and some of them are planners that I just have like for sizes and for measurement. And then over here we have the first F mark so this is my automatic automated cutting machine and there's the laptop there that we use to run it. Um, coming around the corner this bookshelf is like just books and craft supplies and stuff that's kind of my personal stuff. And then we've got the desk and at the desk here there is that computer is what we use for printing and for making cut files and illustrator to use on the graph tech machines and i used to do designing on that computer but now my employees are there all the time pretty much so i actually just got a new computer yesterday that i'll be able to use for designing and that i can um it's it's a mac mini so i can set it up to the display in my husband's office and or if I'm at work, like designing on my lunch break, I can hook it up to my monitor there. So that'll work well. So that's good because I've been behind on designing. Um, and you can also see here is my um, mount for filming and you can see my filming background here. So when I film like a plan with me, this is where I am doing that. And we have two silhouettes there for custom orders. There's another setup for custom orders downstairs as well, but it's right now it's easier to um, to do them up here. And then there are printers and personal stuff over there as well. Um, and we have printers both for the stickers and then also a dedicated printer for packing slips and for shipping labels. Um, and then the bulletin board, I kind of, since I'm not always here when my employees come, I have the shop calendar up and then also um, kind of what we need to be working on this week. Then, this is exciting, I have not shown you this, this is the second F mark and I just got it last week and got it set up over the weekend, so that has really increased our capacity a lot now that we have two cutting machines like that. In the middle here we have this little table that has a ton of stickers on it. Um, so with the F mark, we can't cut out all the individual sheets like on the silhouettes, so we have to use a paper cutter to then like cut this up into five separate sheets. and. That right now is our bottleneck, and I think I need to hire someone else just to work on cutting these all apart uh, because they are piling up right now, um, and there are more piles downstairs. But that's kind of how they look after they come off the cutting machine, and then the sheets need to get cut apart. And we're also finishing up mystery kits today, so there's some parts of mystery kits that need to get assembled. Over here, we have even more inventory. Um, and this is where the silhouettes used to be. And so my husband built this shelf for me to um, be able to stack the silhouettes on, but it actually works out really well for increasing the amount of inventory we can hold there. 
And then over here is our order filling station. So we've got more inventory here and some of this is stuff that gets reached for a lot. Some of it, the seven by nine daily duos. We're not selling as much of that now that the A5 came out. So those are just there. There's not a good reason. But over here we have, um, there's mailers, um, cellophane bags. This is oops and overstock. We've got freebies, um, business cards, washi tape that we use for packaging some stuff. Um, there's a scale and a paper cutter. Um, and so then there's a space here that um, whoever's filling orders can kind of use that as their order filling station. So that is our little um, office and it's pretty amazing what we can get done in this small space. I'm really looking forward to moving and we are going to have a ton of space in the new house for all of the Fern Creek stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all again soon. Bye.